So this boiler is on the roof for two really good reasons. One, the boiler in the basement of this building got flooded with Hurricane Sandy. So we designed a new boiler room on the roof, put steel across the brick parapets, new house, boiler. And the other really good reason is because when the boiler is on the roof, the chimney is really short. This will be about a six foot tall chimney. So the draft through the boiler will be minimized. The off cycle losses will be really small. So that'll save 20, 30, maybe even 40% of the annual fuel bill. That's the gas for heating our water for this apartment building. I think it's 34 families. That's a huge amount of energy to save. And the space on the roof does not count in the zoning as floor area. So it's a bargain all around. I'm a believer in the theory that air is lighter than water. A lot of people try and vent air from the basement of a system, but I believe the air is lighter than water, so it's good to vent from the top. So there's an air vent here, and another big one over here, and we have a gas burner, and we have pumps. These green pumps are one horsepower. I'm ashamed that the pump is so big, but or I think they're three-quarter horsepower. They're very big, but I didn't design the piping in the building. I don't know what's behind the walls. And that's about the size of what's there now in the basement. So I designed it to have about what's there, a little bit smaller than what's there now. Uh, if I had designed the system, the pump would be that big for this building. What else? This mixing valve mixes hot water from the boiler with cooler water coming back from the returns from the radiators. Since mixed water to back to the radiators, that lets the boiler stay hot enough to produce domestic hot water year round while we can change the temperature of the heating system water in response to outdoor temperature. That's called outdoor reset when you change the heating system water temperature in response to outdoor temperature. In other words, really hot water in the radiators when it's really cold out, and the water is only a little warm when it's cool out. Sort of like a giant dimmer switch for the whole system. These tanks are the expansion tanks. These accept the increased volume of water associated with the increase in temperature of the water in all the pipes to all the heaters and all the heaters and the boiler in the building. So when all that system warms up in the winter, it gets bigger and it has to go somewhere. In a lot of systems, the expansion capacity is small and the pop safety valve is always popping. And then they get new water with new dissolved air and they get a lot of problems with air in the system, but the air at the top, not here. Lots of expansion capacity solves that problem. This is the fill gauges and everything to know what we're filling the system to and there's the gas burner burns gas it's easier than oil if we were burning oil and we were doing it on the roof we'd have to pump the oil up but here because it's gas just a pipe pipe up from the basement brings the gas up easy to put the chimney easy to put a hole in the wall for combustion air and ventilation air coming in. We got a special acoustic louver so that the noise from the burner won't go bother the neighbors too much. Maybe they won't even hear it, hopefully. That's it, this is the system. Pretty simple. We These are some of the, this is one of the pages from the secret documents. Most people call them blueprints, but since they're usually not around and people don't look at them, I call them the secret documents. But we draw all the piping, 3D, the pumps, the valves, the gauges, everything, so it's easy for people to follow. Here's the boiler. We give them all the dimensions for the concrete for the pad under the boiler and under the tanks. 
all the pipes are color coded. We give a list of all the materials, what to use on the job, so people don't make up it as they go along. We actually design the system. And, uh, here's another page from the secret documents showing details of the chimney, the fill, the drains. We have to have a drain in a, every boiler room in New York now. So that's it. Pretty simple. We're waiting for gas. Soon, soon the gas will get turned on. Then we'll be making heat and hot water here and we can take out the old boiler in the basement.